Hello, my name is Alina Linden and I'm the Communications Manager for ERIC, the Children's Bowel and Bladder Charity. And ERIC is the only charity dedicated to the bowel and bladder health of all children in the UK. I'm here today with Brenda, the ERIC nurse. It's World Bedwetting Day today, so I'd like to ask you, Brenda, um, some questions that we commonly hear from parents on our helpline. Excellent. The first one is, why is my child wet at night? Well, there are various reasons for why children are very wet at night. It could be that the child's constipated, because if their tummy's full of poo, then there isn't really much room for the bladder to expand and hold all the wee. So they can't last through the night, so they're wet. It could be that they've just got the drinking all wrong. We do need children to have plenty to drink during the day, but they should ease off an hour before bedtime. Maybe they haven't got that right. Or it could be because they're not making enough of the hormone called vasopressin that we all make at night. What that hormone does is it concentrates our wee, so we don't make so much of it during the night. But sometimes children just don't make enough of that. Um, there's some special treatment for that. They can take some medication called desmopressin. But the most important thing is to work out really what's going on with that child. So they need to be assessed to see what the reason is for their nighttime wetting and for that profuse wetting at night. And that's why I would suggest looking at um, our leaflet, mm -hmm. Eric's Guide to Nighttime Wetting, because it's got all the information in there about constipation, about drinking and about the very different reasons why children are wet at night. Okay, thank you very much. So the next question, what age do children grow out of bed wetting? Well, not all children will grow out of bed wetting, so we have to be really careful not to just assume that children will grow out of bed wetting. We wouldn't proactively treat bed wetting until the age of five, so before that we would promote healthy bowels, we would promote healthy bladders by making sure we're not missing on any out on any constipation and by making sure that we're drinking the right drinks in suitable quantities spread evenly throughout the day. So we would do those things before five but we wouldn't proactively treat nighttime wetting because until you're five years old it's normal. After that, will children grow out of it by themselves? Well. We have, again, it's down to assessment. We need to look at the features of their bedwetting and in, and in particular, how often are they wet? Because what we know now from, from recent research is that, that children who are wet every single night or almost every single night are very unlikely to grow out of their nighttime wetting. So those children do need to be properly assessed and properly treated. If the wetting is easing off, so if as the child gets older, they, they are wetting less and less often, then we might assume that they will grow out of it. Um, but the key thing again is, is assessment, looking at the features of the wetting, how often the child's wet and going from there. Okay, that's really helpful, thank you. And then finally, is it a good idea to lift my child at night? Well, it depends on what reason you're lifting the child for. So for parents who lift their children to try and treat their nighttime wetting, it doesn't treat their nighttime wetting. What we usually say is, is that if you lift the child at night, so in other words, if you take them to the toilet almost in their sleep in the night, um, then you may well, um, result, it may well result in a dry bed, but it doesn't result in a dry child because all you're really doing is reinforcing we um, weeing in their sleep because we may think that the child is awake as we get them out of mm -hmm. bed and put the light on and walk them to the toilet, but in the morning they've got no recollection of it, so they are doing all that in their sleep. So all we are doing then is just reiterating uh, weeing in your sleep but if the reason for lifting them is in order to to retain the patient the, the parents sanity because they really have run out of all their bedding and they really can't manage another wet bed then we're not going to say it's not the right thing or if they're away on holiday and it's really important not to not to get wet bedding yes there's nothing wrong with lifting the child at night but as a treatment for nighttime wetting no that doesn't work. Management rather than a cure then. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, that's brilliant. Thanks very much, Brenda. Thank you. And Lina. as Brenda said, um, there's lots of answers in this leaflet, which is also available as a free download from the ERIC website, www.eric.org.uk.